Again, doing what I love doing, hunting for Romans, uh, back on the Roman field. Um, yeah, it's still it's still really dry out here. It's been, there's been no rain now for what, two or three weeks, I think. So even though it's been ploughed and rolled, it's quite difficult because it was all clay anyway. So it's big lumps of really dry clay now. But I'm going to give it a go, see what we can get in this dry weather. Um, obviously with the signals in the dry weather, is always a bit dodgy, but I think next week it's forecast loads of rain, so hopefully be even better next week but for now gonna make the best of what we can and try and find something good uh thank you to all the new subscribers been quite a lot recently i think i should be over 500 by the time this video comes out so thanks a lot and thank you to all the old ones as well um yeah that's about it really i'll see you on the first good target guys see you in a bit all right guys first signal is out just flicked out the hole See it anyway. In there somewhere. Oh, that's what I think it is straight away. Could be a little Roman straight away. Oh, get in. Very first signal, guys. Straight on the Roman. Might be a grotty one, but still, first signal. I don't know if there's any details on there, it might be a little bit. But yeah, definitely a Roman. Literally, first signal. I was just standing like Richard on the grass there and I did my intro, and I've just come over here, got your signal, and that's caught straight away. Hopefully, that's a good sign. I haven't peaked too early. All right, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Let's go another good signal here. Might might be a bit too good, really, for this field, but I'll try and film it anyway. And see what comes up. The ground's actually a bit better than what I thought it was, to be honest. Seems to have settled a bit. Is that what it is? Alright, it's in here somewhere. I've even put my gloves on yet, have I? I just realised. That's it. Let's come out somewhere. It's got another one here. It's a really jumpy signal. I even just had a quick look at the numbers. I don't normally look at numbers, but I had a quick look because it was really jumpy. And it's literally jumping like from like 9 to 30 to 90 something. It's just jumping all over the place. But like I said before, on this field, you've got to jump all the, you got to jump, you got to dig all the dodgy signals. You can be bloody anything on this field. Just never know. I don't know if you can hear that through my headphones, it's just really, it's really jumping all over the place. Let's just see what it is. Actually, I've lost it. It's 
sounded like it was out right one second guys all right guys i found it it is right there see what i mean about those dodgy signals you've got to dig them it was literally just jumping all over the place going right from like an iron tone up to like a really high 90 tone and back to 30s 50s it was just jumping all over the place but look at that a little tiny roman literally got to dig all those dodgy signals dig the iffies as they say i don't think it's got any um much detail on it I don't know if the camera's focusing now is it what's going on with this it keeps doing this so. There you go. Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of detail on there actually. And yeah, a little bit. That's lovely. Second Roman, I've only been on it for about 15 minutes. Actually, third signal. There's some detail on that side. It's the head. Cool, right, on to the next one guys. Hi guys, next one is in there. You can see it, a little bit of green sticking through the clod. I'll try and get it out one-handed if I can. Which I don't think I can, to be honest. It's a bit difficult. Um, right, one minute. Can't actually break it, this stuff is so bloody hard. Right, one second. All right, there you go guys, I managed to break it a bit. I'm just trying to trying to ease it out, not damaging it. There you go, it's another little moment. This is good, it's a good sign, getting loads of them today. The ground's giving up its goods again. Once again, not much detail on it, but it's good, I don't care, it's a Roman keep plugging away and something good will come up soon on this field I know it will. Um, I think that's probably where the head was on that side and nothing on that side. Cool, all right I'll see you on the next one. All right guys here's the next one. Sorry about the wind, it's a bit windy today. All right, I think it was about there, I can't remember where it was now. We'll go for there shall we? Another one of those iffy signals, which could be just a little crappy old nail, or it could be a Roman coin. You just never know. There somewhere. Oh, oh, I think I see something round. You see it? button or a coin and it is a button that's the first one of the day nothing on it oh well on to next hey guys next one was giving me a bit of trouble trying to find it it was a tiny little squeak uh, i think i found it now it's in the side wall there it's on its side that's why it was so difficult i nearly didn't dig it because it was a really scrappy little signal but Right, it could be another one. <laughs> yep, another little Roman. Uh, not a too bad one actually, it's like it might have a... There's the head there. And then what's on the other side? Not very much, but... Pretty cool on that side though, got a Roman Emperor there. They're normally one of the Constantines on this field, that like third or fourth century. But then again, that silver one I had was a bit older than that, I think it was, it was like first century, so you just never know what you're going to get on this field. It could be bloody Celtic, Roman, Saxon, anything on this field. Right, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Right, guys, next one should be out here somewhere. I think it's a little bit of lead. I think that's it. 
Yeah, another bit of lead. All right, on to the next. There's the next one guys, uh, not sure what it is, but it would have had, looks like it would have been like on a hinge sort of thing. Oh, dropped it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what it is to be honest, but it looks like it's got a bit of age to it. Got two markings on there. Uh, I don't know, anybody you know, stick it in the comments for me. And I'll see you on the next one. There's right, the next one guys, uh, looks like. Oh, it looks like it could be a bit bronze. Um, yeah, it looks like it could be bronze. Quite heavy, so yeah, I'd say a bit of bronze pot maybe or something. It's quite good though. Got some age to it. All right, see you in a bit. Guys, there's the next one. A little bag seal. Always quite nice to get those. Only got some writing on there somewhere. Yeah, I've had quite a few of these lately actually. About four or five, and I'm digging a six every week. Yeah, lovely. All right, I'll see you on the next one, guys. There's the next one, guys. Got a big musket ball. It's had a big chunk taken out of it, though. Must have hit something pretty hard. God knows what that is hit, but yeah, it must have hurt. Whatever it was, it was quite a big one. All right, see you in a bit. Next one, guys. Not sure what it is, but it's definitely got a silver sort of colour to it. I'll have to do the silver test when I get home and let you know. I don't think there's anything on there, but it could be silver. I'll check it out when I get home. I'm not sure. All right, see you in a bit, guys. Just got the next one. Just flicked out the hole. Got another little Roman bollocks of it. There's quite some detail on there. I should get it out. I'm getting the sunlight a bit. Might be a little bit. Still pretty toasted though. Oh well, still a Roman. So let's dug this one. It was a really rubbishy sort of signal in the hole, but it seems to have got a bit better since it's taken a bit of soil out. So I thought I'd see what it is on camera. I can find it. it. Sounded like it was in the side wall somewhere. Oh, there it is. That is. I honestly don't know. So it could be maybe part of a buckle or something, I don't know. So I might have had some gold gilding on there actually coming through. See a bit of gold coming through. Yeah, definitely got some details on there. Maybe it's part of a strap end or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. It could be part of a strap end, it's got like the whole there. Uh, might be attached to another bit of the other side. I mean, it looks like it would have some detail on it though. Would have been a nice strap end. Lovely, All right. It's the end of it. Right, next one should be out guys. It's come out of that hole there. So look what it is. Yeah, I'm getting old, I'm making noises when I'm bending down. I know. Alright, where is it? Oh, it's round. Let's get in the sunlight. Yep, definitely another little Roman. Another little grotty one. That's where the head would have been, I think. Not much on that side. No. I mean, that's the head there facing left, I think. Yeah, pretty toasted. Right, on to that. Try another live one. Sounds like a good signal. Might be a bit too good again, but we'll see. Let's have a look. Anyway, 
left side. Over it is. Another one that was a really dodgy signal, but I dug it anyway. It's, it's still really dodgy, but it's got a little squeak to it. I thought I'd try and get this one on camera just in case it is another little grotty Roman. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Oh, I was hoping for a little artifact today. Oh, yes, get in. Nice little brooch, guys. Look at that, it's bent up at the bottom, but it's actually different to some of the other ones I've had off of here. So I think it's more of a, looks like a dolphin type, I think. I'm not 100% sure. They're cool. First brooch for ages, I think, actually, yeah. Before lockdown, I think. I had a brooch off of here for a long time. That's nice, might have a little bit of detail on there. I'm not going to rub it too much. I might give it a little bit of a clean up, but I try not to rub these sort of things now. I've learnt my lesson, ruined a few things. I've got to stop doing it. Alright, yeah guys, nice little Roman brooch. Alright, I'll see you on the next one. Got a nice little signal here. Really tiny little squeaky one. Could be a little coin. Hopefully it is. It's about there, I think. out here somewhere I think. definitely something could be the back of a brooch I'm not sure anybody got any ideas put it in the comments but yeah I think that's definitely something and most probably Roman cool getting some artifacts now it's good getting bored of those grotty coins I'll right, see you on the next one guys got about an hour left so hopefully I'll find a few more bits so guys got another half decent signal just come out the hole it definitely didn't sound that nice when it was in the hole, but this is it now. Oh, it's a little, I can see a little edge. That's uh, a button. Yeah, just a little button. Right, moving on. Guys, got another one here. Sounds quite close to the surface. Might try and just pinpoint it first. Maybe it's not as close as I thought it was. Nope. I'll dig a little bit out. Yeah, somewhere. 
might just be a bit of lead now actually to hearing that signal again could be wrong not bloody lost me I never want to try and do a live dig, but I bloody lose it. I think I flicked it somewhere. Right, one second. Right, guys, I think I found it. It's stuck in one of these clods somewhere. Oh, there it is. See it there? It was another little Roman, actually. I thought it was going to be too good a signal for a Roman. I think I actually see it. Possibly a little bit of detail there. Sorry about the wind. Just getting windier and windier. Um, Alright, one second. Let me try and pop it out. Uh, I think it's toasted again. What's that now? I think that's about six or seven Romans I've had now. And a brooch. It's not bad for a few hours. Alright, so next one. This one's out. Just popped it out of that hole there somewhere. Actually, I think it's in the clod. Yep, I think it's. I'm not sure what that is. It's a button, I think. Oh, no, what is it? I don't know, something with a nail for it. Uh, I think it's just, just a bit of junk, I think. I'm not sure. Well, that one is, that one there, on the surface, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I can't even see it now, is it? Yeah, just in, in the middle of the screen there. It's literally on the surface. Is it anything good? Nope. Yeah, it's a little piece of copper pipe. Sorry, I forgot I was zoomed in. Yep, piece of rubbish. Right, there's the next one. Just move that out of the way. And it's right behind there. Another little Roman one to it. Yeah, that one's completely gone, I think. Uh, might have been something there, but it's gone now. Oh well, on to the next one. Another one on the surface again. Looks like another little coin. Where is it? Right about there. No. Can you focus? There, there you go. Right in the middle of the screen. Right in the clod. Any detail on this one? Nice to get one with a bit of detail on today. This one's really stuck in actually, I can't get it out. It might have some detail on it actually. If I can actually get it out of the clod. One second. There we go. Oh yes, look at that. Bloody hell, that's got to be one of the best ones I've had off this field. The details on that, guys. Get in. The other side's like... Uh, not as good, I don't think, but still some detail on there. Still a little bit. But that side there... Bloody hell, that's well good. Look at that. That's probably the best bronze I've had off of it. Probably the second best coin apart from that silver one I had. It's really nice detail. You can see the hair on his head. I'll get to it. I'll oh, wait for that. Right. I'll see you on the next one guys. I'll put some pictures up afterwards. See you. good guys it's like it's right on the surface as well might just be a bit of lead a bit of rubbish it sounds a bit too good it could be a coin so 
sounded like it was by the surface, didn't it? Oh, it's in there somewhere. <coughs> I think it's a coin actually. I don't think it's got any details on it. It looks like a George or something. Looks too round to be Roman. Oh, I could be wrong actually. It might be Roman. No, it's not. It's too round, surely. No, if it's George, yeah, I can see him. I think it's George. Is it George II, I think, looking to the left? Yeah, we'll go with that. So, Britannia should be on that side somewhere. And the date will be down, down the bottom there. Yeah, we'll go with George II. Alright, so look. this next one. Um, I didn't film it because I just... I was having trouble finding it and I just thought it would have been a pain in the ass. and I weren't really sure it's a good signal to be honest. But if you look at this, I reckon that's a little Celtic bronze, a little bronze unit. It goes in in the middle. I don't know if there's anything on the back, but there I can just about make out something. It looks like a little bronze unit I had last year as well. I'll try and get an ID on it if I can. Yeah, I reckon there's like a little animal or something on there. I don't know if you can see it. It's just looks like a little unit to me. Could be wrong. But I don't know, it just looks similar to one that I had last year. Cool, getting more Celtic off of here, that's good. Hopefully one day I'll get a stator. <laughs> well, see the next one's going from like a really sort of like quite good signal to a bit iron y. So it's definitely worth digging. What it is. It's a fly on my face. Alright, guys, I think it's out. I think it's just a little piece of. Oh no, it's not that. I thought it was a bit of lead. Oh, okay. Look at that. Sounded like it was around here somewhere. So these bloody things on this field today, they just keep going missing every time I get them out the hole. Alright, one sec. Guys, there it is. I had a right not really trying to find this one. But I think it's another little Roman. Probably the last one before I go home. If I can actually get it out of the clod again. Roman guys, that's loads of today. Right, on to right guys, that's that one done. Wow, that was a good day. I didn't expect to get that much off it today to be honest. I thought it was going to be like the conditions were going to be too dry, but I ended up getting loads of Roman coins, a nice little brooch. Um, so, yeah, some really nice bits. So, yeah, happy with that. Um, all I did with the machine, I just all I did was put it on 12 kilohertz, change frequency to 12 kilohertz, still in program 9, program hot hot program um yeah change it to 12 kilohertz and up the um, reactivity to number four and it seems to work to treat i think i had sensitivity on 96 yeah i just got loads of bloody coins and take a look at that got i think that's the best coin there that one there's got some quite a bit of nice detail on there i don't really want to do much to that i'll probably just brush a bit of the dust off of it should be all right all the rest of the coins are a bit sort of knacker, but you can see I've got quite a few there. One, two, three, four, five, six, about seven, I think. And then you've got the brooch, which is lovely. 
obviously a bit bent up but still quite good condition happy with that yeah so we've got quite a few nice bits guys that little thing there which could be silver i don't know yet i need to test that yep happy with that it's a good day so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe and um yeah thank you to all the subscribers again and i'll see you on the next one guys